Good morning, guys. So we camped at the track last night. Uh, so it is Sunday now. Um, yesterday, uh, we got rained out. Or, I guess they canceled the races because of rain, but probably could have raced. It seems though after they called it, the day for somehow just cleared right up. So that wasn't uh, an issue at all, but hung out on the track all day. It was a good day. But yeah, we're back to racing today. I think it's low 70s today. Uh, pressure is up, air pressure is up today. So yeah, we just had breakfast, got teched in, walking back from that now. Should be a really good day of racing. Beautiful day. It's my uh, daughter's birthday today. Happy birthday, Emma. Uh, hopefully we can pull off a few good rounds or win for her today. Hey, good morning, Ricky. How do you think we're gonna run today? I think it's gonna be faster today. We got pressures up, humidity's down. Oh, dropping. Then uh, after lunch or after lunch break, that could be a whole other uh, whole other race. Yeah, well, we'll keep a good eye on the weather and see what happens. Daughter's birthday today. That's pretty awesome. Yeah. Yeah, I think uh, leaning it out a little bit, maybe we'll make a little more power too. Yeah. So, a small change, there. small change on the tire, small change on the carburetor. Yeah. See what we can do. Yeah, let's get this thing warmed up and then. Uh, yeah, about 40 minutes or so before time trial should start. So, all right, sounds good. Yes, okay, Ricky, pulling up the stage and lanes, first time trial. Yeah, it's a big class today. Yeah, nice and cool, lots of, lots of cars. Yeah, the pressure is uh, still going up and the humidity is still dropping. Yeah, we could have a fast run. Yeah. All right. It might be the second time trial that's a little bit quicker because it typically is for us. But yeah. Still a fast one. Look at the outside lane looks like if you want. Yeah. All right. Good Enjoy. luck to you. Good burnout. Yeah, so car is working. Car is working. Maybe the change we made, but the weather is also doing great for us today. So. Yeah, really good weather. I think we're gonna have a fast day, mate. Hey, maybe 11 eighths. Uh, next round probably go 11.87. <laughs> no, That'd serious. Cool. All yeah, right. I got. I got to look back at the film, slow mo, see if I really went on the last yell. I feel like I did, but okay. We we'll figure it out. All right, good okay, luck. Hey, Ricky, heading up for your second time trial, 10 a.m. Yeah, and the uh, temp or the weather got even better for us. Yeah, weather's better. Tailwind picked up. Uh, we dropped another pound out of your front tires. A little more rollout. Yeah, I gotta really get my timing. On that. Yep, this is the last shot at that. All right, good luck.
man. That that burnout felt a little weird. Felt like I spun me a little bit on launch too. I don't know. Can't really tell what happened there. But uh. I didn't run a lot. I think I had an 014 4, 14 lines. It's good. Um, yeah, I don't. I don't know how that how the time went. Uh, said burnout felt weird, and the launch felt a little weird. Maybe it's just me. But uh, yeah, we'll we'll get it figured out. Let's see what we ran. There's been a lot of uh, really good lights. What'd, what'd you do? Did, yeah, a lot of lights in the 30s. I, did, I just made sat a smidge longer. I just do what you did again because I dropped the pound of air out of the tires and just just do what you just did. Maybe that helped. Maybe it's just me doing some little bit different combination, but yeah, 1180 at 113. 800! Oh, oh. Dude! Wow. Let's book it. Oh, Ricky, getting ready to pull up for round one? Yeah, a little, uh, got a little delayed in here, the announcement, so we're fine. There's a whole other class to go, I think, even before we're up. Yeah. I'll just try to get the car So, right. dialing is a crapshoot because uh, we're, this is uncharted territory for us. Yeah. So, 1182 is your dial? Yeah, leaving some on the table just in case we did slow down a little bit, but. All right. Hey, good luck. Ricky Duray out of it in Iowa, 73 Duster. 1182 alongside Dave Walker. How about 1964 Buick Skylark? Big old automobile. Used to have a blower on it. Took the blower off, went to something a little more conventional, I do believe. So down 1160. Quick as you can dial in, Sportsman is 1160. She's right there at the bottom of that. I don't believe the car's happy the way it looks like it was trying to bounce some there. Gonna break out, hand the window over to Ricky Duray, 1188 for the win, 112 miles an hour.
All right, right, way to go, keeping your first round winning streak alive. Yeah, it seemed like, uh, you know, he was faster than uh, I had a little start on him, I feel like I pulled on him a little more than I should. Yeah, I feel like, and then out of nowhere, he just went around and he didn't get on the brakes or. Yeah, I, you know, that is a pretty fast car. I'm not surprised he, he ran around you. But hey, uh, 1636 foot, so. So the car did its thing. You did slow down from your dial. You dialed an 82 right. and went an 88. And I had a 1 1 light. Not great, but. Hey, second round. Yeah, 100, almost 113, so. Okay, we'll dial it back. Yeah, probably 8. I guess right now I'm saying 88, but we'll, uh, we'll look at the weather. Uh, fourth, fourth um, guy behind you in points uh, lost, so you gain on him. Right. Uh, the guy uh, leading the points won his round. Okay. And uh, he was off his number and just I think a couple. The guy, another guy, the Corvette in front of me, he won his round. So. Yep, that Camaro lost. The silver Camaro? Yeah, he lost. It's tight. It's very it tight is really good right competition now. out here. You got to give him that. Sometimes you get lucky. So. Yeah. Hey, good job. Good job. Ready for second round? Yeah. Going up against uh, Corvette. Going against Corvette. He's running, uh, what, second in points? or? Yeah, second in the league. Yeah, he's second in points right now. One tough customer. Yep. Yeah, I got your 1190. 1190 dial. See what she does. Down the stripe, I need to get a good light to it. You got to get a light. Yep. So, you got it. Good luck. Prematurely, if they would have kept it on, it probably would have rained. Hard, hard to say. It would have been nice to get the passes in. Right, but so we didn't make any uh, pass Saturday, but Sunday. And, and that was our intention to double up into pro on Saturday as well and get get some seat time, but yeah, so that didn't happen. But uh, I guess the good for the weekend is we're in a personal best, personal best bike by far. Quite a bit. Yeah, we went from a eleven ninety one, probably second or third time out this year. Yep. To uh, eleven. 11 8 0 0. Yeah, 8 0 0. That was your movement, and you backed it up with uh, 11 84. So, not yeah, a I think I went uh, you had a 86 nice... or something. Then, eight last pass today was 84. Yeah, so solid 11 80s today. Uh, that's amazing. So, good news. Uh, we won a first round again. Um, so, we're solidly in fourth place in points. Yeah, because the Guy who was right behind me, five points back. I think after this week, he'll be ten points back because he lost first round, bought back in, and then lost. So you get five points for yeah. coming back in. So I didn't get any so further rough, than he did. So yeah, he had a rough weekend as well. Unfortunately, which, good people too. All everyone, everybody's is cool. a competitor. Oh, they are there are good. there's nobody easy. Um, so yeah, second round, uh, tough red light again. We we. Um, Change tires, more rollouts, um, and aired them down. Aired them down pretty good, and you know whatever. So it's not easy as a rookie. No, it's it's not like we're trying. I'm I'm trying really hard, and it's you, you're just not getting seat time either. Not um, there's no seat time. And every yeah. We, we race and changes. Twice a month. Yeah, twice a month. It, it's hard to go from, especially now, make it just a one, uh, just Sunday. Uh, we're not racing for two weeks. Yeah. So. So whatever I gained today, whether or any other weekend where yeah. I gained confidence, okay, we're doing great. Two weeks, uh, even in August, we're not even racing in August for points. Right. That's you know two weeks to a month in between racing. That yeah. it's hard to keep the consistency up. Um, so in August, uh, not to sidetrack that, but uh, you've got a pretty uh, important grudge match coming up, a heads up race, right? Yeah. Yeah. So be. stay tuned. It'll be very cool. And uh, a lot on the line. A lot, a lot on the line. For that one. Yeah, so stay tuned on that one. And what else? 
Okay, so we had a rough weekend. What are we going to change? So this come or not this coming weekend, but it's uh, July 8th, because right. 8th and 10th, we have points racing in Earlville, but that Friday before, we're going to Cedar Falls to have a test and tune day. And, tune. and we're, I wouldn't say hot lapping it, but we're I'm, we're gonna make as many passes as possible, but just running probably to the 330. Yeah, we're gonna just make a bunch of 330 hits and hot lap it and get some three times, see if we can get five, six, seven runs yeah. in. And, and we're going to the 330, we're not absolutely tearing it up. Right. And we're gonna, so all my video will be slow-mo so we can catch the tree in the car because um, his last red light, it looked like the car was really moving uh, way ahead. Then I look at the video and it doesn't show right. what I think I saw. So we gotta get in the slow-mo. So the very first pass today, which you guys saw, I read it, I don't remember how bad it was. Then I went up 014, great. Yeah, thought and we had the first yeah. round, it, not a bad light, but it's not going to win your races. One one. So you tried a little harder, and and then uh, last one was a 07. But with those two red lights, you go back on the slow mo, and it's like you see yellow, 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 and it's a hard yellow before the car even starts moving. So yeah. It, so it's it's such a fast reacting car. <laughs> Built yeah, too you, much of a race car. Yeah. Right. So yeah, you're 60 foot. Uh, you got 162 again. Yeah. Um, and very consistent between 162, and 763, 133, something like that. Yeah. So been very consistent. These Hoosiers been outstanding. And if uh, you don't have your tires for the No Name Nationals, you best get them because um, we, we these tires that are on the car are probably going to be good. They might make it. Uh, we're not taking a chance. chance. It. Uh, so yeah, thanks Tire Rack for Tire Rack and Hoosier for taking our money and sending us tires. Yeah, these are not cheap. About 600 bucks sitting here, but. Yeah, but they're they're completely worth it. I know, um, yeah. Duddy, you got yourself a pair. You you got a good got a good set of tires. Yeah, there. these these uh, definitely hook. So um, we got them on the back burner, so there's no excuses. Yeah, the minute we see something spinning, we're swapping them out. Yeah. So good news is, um, yeah, we're driving the one on the car right now, and um, we leaned out the carburetor. That helped a little bit. Um, we're gonna. Minor, minor adjustments, but just working on the driver now from here to No Name Nationals. It's just seat time working on the driver. Car has gotten pretty quick and uh, pretty happy with it. So, yeah. And if you're still watching, thank you. And yeah, thanks. Hopefully, uh, <laughs> you earned your sub on this one, and we'll catch you guys on the next one. All right.